Now, let us take a look at a modern periodic table. The modern periodic law states that the properties of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic numbers. The modern periodic table is a very neat representation of all elements. The chart is easy to read and the arrangement is so accurate. That if you know properties of a few elements, you will be able to make a close guess of other elements close to them. Let's take a closer look into a feature of the modern periodic table. The features of the periodic table are It consists of seven horizontal periods. The lengths of the periods increase with the order of the period, while the elements in a period have consecutive atomic numbers. The vertical columns are called groups. There are 18 groups in the periodic table. Elements in a group do not have consecutive atomic numbers. The modern periodic table is approximately divided into metals and non-metals. The most metallic elements such as alkalis are on the left-hand side in group 1, while the non-metals are on the right-hand side in group 18. Click on the blinking button to proceed. In the previous lesson, you were taught how elements are put together in the modern periodic table. The elements are first arranged in increasing order of proton number. Let us now look at the complete periodic table with all the elements in it. There are all together 18 vertical columns and 7 horizontal rows. A vertical column of elements is called a group. A horizontal row of elements is called a period. We can determine the position of an element in the periodic table if we know the proton numbers of the elements. Let us determine the position of calcium in the periodic table. The proton number of calcium is 20. The electron arrangement for calcium is 2, 8, 8. Two. The electron arrangement shows that it has four shells and two electron valence. Therefore, calcium is in period 4 of group 2. Now, let's try to determine the position of another element. The proton number of argon is 18. The electron configuration for argon is... 2, 8, 8. The electron configuration shows that it has 3 shells and 8 electron valence. Therefore, argon is in period 3 of group 18. Can you locate where phosphorus in the periodic table is? Click on the blinking button to proceed. The elements are arranged according to their proton numbers. The position of the element in the periodic table is determined by the number of shells and number of electron valence from the electron arrangement. What is the advantage of grouping elements in the periodic table? The ultimate advantage of the systematic arrangement of elements in the periodic table helps us to study the elements systematically, especially in their physical and chemical. What is the advantage of grouping elements in the periodic table? The ultimate advantage of the systematic arrangement of elements in the periodic table helps us to study the elements systematically, especially in their physical and chemical. It could be used to predict undiscovered properties. To predict the characteristics of the element and its compound. 
to relate the characteristics of an element to its atomic structure. Therefore, we must be thankful to the scientists for the effort to develop the periodic table. Click on the blinking button to proceed.